aspiring marine biologist. Another very common but also misleading job choice is being a dolphin trainer. While such a job would be very entertaining, a degree in marine biology would be wasted in this line of work, and a person with a degree in some sort of animalistic behavior or physiology would be much better suited for it. But these two sciences are very different and would require people with completely different passions to achieve. Most people mistakenly group marine mammal trainers, marine biologists, and oceanographers together into one group of scientific study. It is true that all these have to do with the ocean, but each of these careers are part of their own specialized discipline. Oceanographers mainly study the physical aspects of the, world, of the world's ocean. These can include the various chemical, geological, and atmospheric compositions that make up these waters. A marine biologist studies the life in the sea and can specialize in behavior, ecology, anatomy, or physiology. They can study organisms of the tiniest microscopic size or a 150 ton whale. All organisms under the sea are included in this field of study. One who wishes to pursue a job working with marine organisms at a theme park, for instance SeaWorld or Discovery Co., may be surprised to learn that not all of these jobs are hands-on, though each are equally necessary in maintaining the happiness and overall health of the animals in a zoological institution's collection. A field biologist, for example, works with the same types of animals at the institute. The only difference is that they study those animals in their natural habitats. The information they collect help the officials at the institution to better care for their animals. A field biologist also plays a large role in creating conservation programs which help to protect these species in the wild. At any given time, this biologist can be asked to spend countless hours in primitive and sometimes dangerous and disease-filled conditions. Personal care is important in this line of work, or the intense conditions could take over and ruin any given research being conducted. The role these specific scientists play is similar to a research biologist's job. They are similar in that they both study marine organisms and the information they gather is vital preserving the, to preserving the population in, this institu in the institution as well as in the wild. The difference between the two is that the field biologist works mainly away from the park while research biologists will study animals both in the park and the wild. A research biologist plans, conducts, and reports the results of studies on animals in the institution's collection. He or she may chart the dynamics of herd numbers, herd members, determine the optimum brooding temperature for bird or reptile eggs, or study how long a certain species of mammal nurses its young. This job provides certain challenges unique from those of a field biologist. A research biologist's findings are so necessary that one could be responsible for many different reports at the same time. It is crucial to keep these reports organized and to submit them in a timely manner. The more hands-on jobs available at marine theme parks include behaviorists and geneticists. Behaviorists observe an animal's behavior as it relates to breeding, as well as in response, its response behavior to changes in its surrounding, specifically to provide insight regarding an animal's natural history. They must keep very accurate records of their findings and are responsible for conducting behavioral studies on the animals. This information might even lead to the way the institution keeps its habitats. Another important quality a behaviorist might possess is the ability to maintain and balance all the central issues an institution may have. Some examples of these issues are to know the needs for an acceptable public display as well as the needs of the facilities to be able to learn about the animals at the same time. A geneticist studies an animal's DNA and more specifically assists in the development of breeding programs. A geneticist is like is like a behaviorist in that they both are responsible for conducting research projects on the animals. A geneticist may more specifically conduct research on an endangered species in order to preserve them. The care of the animals is most important and that is why all the information gathered by these scientists is look looked over very carefully. A geneticist's job is made even more challenging because they must be able to stay up to date with the latest technological advancements and they must provide funding for said advancements. They are constantly seeking research funds by attending fundraising events and constantly writing grants. The, le the least hands-on job is that of a registrar. They mostly deal with the paperwork of the animals. They keep extensive records by documenting animal births and deaths, updating and managing stud books, charting pedigrees, handling paperwork when animals are transferred or loaned to other institutions, and tracking the off offspring results from breeding loans. Uh, common misconception is that, it is, is that it is necessary to be interacting with the animals in order, in order to make a difference, but a facility could not function properly without the documents a registrar is responsible for keeping in order, which makes this job most important. 
All of these jobs, regardless of their level of importance, require at least a master's degree in some sort of biological science and many years of experience. Science is always changing. Theories are constantly being disproved and more are being written each day. Being a part of this world will be the ultimate course of study in the sense that there are no right or wrong answers for anything. The same can be said for marine biology. Constantly new discoveries are being made and this is just the beginning. There is an entire world under the ocean that has yet to be found and understood, but its existence is undeniable. Our job as human beings is to learn about all of this around us on Earth, and that includes all that is below us as well. In the famous words of the great Jacques Cousteau, the happiness of the bee and the dolphin is to exist. For man, it is to know that it is to know that and wonder at it.